Uh, I'm Dustin Goldman. I work with Leonard at Fuzz and just a little bit about ASCII art. What is ASCII art when we talk about it? It is um, big text files with text in them and set in monospace fonts. Uh, it's not things like uh, this Caruso fellow you may know or the Shruggy friend. It is just these 128 characters, some of which are not printable. Pretty much anything you'd see on a typewriter, uh, if you can remember what those are. Um, here is a nice example of some cats that I found on the internet. We all love cats. Uh, oops, I am in the wrong directory. Uh, here are cats that I found on the internet. We all love cats, right? This is ASCII art. It's like lots of dashes and dots and maybe some letters to make some I's or some sixes and it's just good, clean fun. Um, you can probably Google and find a lot of ASCII art to use in, um, <clears throat> in the comments in your source code files or other places. I wanted to show you a couple tools you could use. Uh, one of them is called Figlet. It will print out text in ASCII, and it comes with uh, a few font files too. Um, here's one called Chunky. Here's one called ISO metric one and isometric four and there are a whole bunch of them if you download and install this Broadway fun fun okay so what could you do with this you could make an SSH banner um, that is a banner when you log into your machine. It tells you what machine you're logged into. My machine is called Dusto Laptopo, so we're going to put that in a file called banner.txt. And we're going to do a little hand waving and pretend that I configured SSHD to show that banner when I logged in. And I'm going to SSH to my local host. And will it be there? Oh, yes, it will. Excellent. Let's exit that SSH. And now I'm going to show you one other uh, tool that you can use with those cute cats and other animals that you find on the internet. It is called Kause. Yeah. I am a cow. It's a cow, but what if we wanted it to be something else? I like ducks. Uh, da, 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 da. It could be ducks, too. Um, and what else could we do with this? Well, I don't know if anybody knows of this old school Unix program called Fortune. It just tells you a bunch of fortunes over and over. It's fun to see that whenever you log in. So you could put Fortune through Kause. And then you could put that into your login shell. And and then we could try this SSH again. Uh, and look, there it is. How fun. One more fun thing you could do with it. Uh, I think everybody uses uh, Slack here or knows of Slack. Um, this is a certain font that I found here that works really well in combination for replacements because it only has hashes and spaces. So we can take that nice output, modify it a little bit with uh, sed. We'll give it a little bit of spacing on the front there. And then we'll add one more in there and We'll take those spaces and we'll turn them into the boom emoji on Slack. And then we'll do one more. And I certainly hope that everybody uses the party parrot on their Slack. And if you don't, you definitely need to look into that. And we'll double check that we are typing well. Wow, it looks like a bunch of gobbledygook, but we'll just put it into PB Copy, and then it's in our pasteboard, and then we'll find our work friend Leonard, and we'll paste it to him. Hi, Leonard. <laughs> so, those are some fun ASCII tips and tricks. There's a little readme that uh, I think they'll be posted on the site later.
Thanks. Bye. <laughs>